everybody, Andrew Anderson here to announce a new product we have coming out at Turbo called Custom Thumb. I personally have been using this for about a year and a half and we're really excited to bring it out to you guys. We're going to have Mike come in and demonstrate how to make a custom thumb. Okay, so we're here with Andrew Anderson's bowling ball and we're going to show you how to make a custom thumb. Andrew Anderson currently uses switch grip in all of his bowling balls, but we're going to get him into a custom thumb today. So you're going to want to make sure that your switch grip is locked all the way in the bowling ball. Very, very important. And the first step in custom thumb is making sure you have a center line all the way through the thumb, all the way to the back of the thumb. If you don't scribe your bowling ball like Andrew does, you can always take a Prosect and a grease pencil and you can draw a line straight through that thumb hole all the way to the back. Step number two, very simple. You're gonna take a ruler and you can either take a scribe or a grease pencil. And the goal is, is to make a marking on the very inside of the thumb for the cylinder. So as you can see, that little grease pencil line that I've created lines up with that scribe line, but you can see it on the inside of the slug. So now we're on to step number three. We're gonna take our switch grip thumb out of the bowling ball, and you're gonna insert an appropriate size coin in the bottom of the thumb. What that's gonna do is that's gonna close any of those gaps that a switch grip has at the bottom of the thumb hole. So you're gonna place that quarter into the bottom of the thumb. Once you have that coin flat in there, you're gonna take some tissue, or I highly recommend some molding clay, and you're gonna push that clay into that thumb where you're gonna close any remaining gaps so that there's no air or so that that silicone does not leak outside of the thumb. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get a nice flat bottom in the bottom of that thumb hole. And it takes you sometimes a couple seconds to work that in nice and flat. Now that you can see that that clay is evenly placed at the bottom of the thumb hole, you also wanna put the bowler's thumb back into the thumb hole and make sure that they're not bottoming out and feel that clay. Okay, we're on to step number four, and you're gonna take your short cylinder for an inch and a quarter thumb, and you're gonna take a rope of clay. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna place that little line in that cylinder to the back of that thumb in which we drew that little grease pencil line. So as you can see, we're gonna line that up with there, and we're gonna put this little rope of clay all the way around. And you're gonna wanna make sure you basically air seal that cylinder on there so that no silicone from the mold comes out. And you're going to make sure that's nice and tight. And then once you've got it on there, make sure that you spin that cylinder so it's right exactly on line with the back of the thumb and matches up with that grease pencil line. We're on to step number five, and that's going to be mixing the silicone. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. We're going to put it into a cup, and you need about a total of two ounces. So we're going to take one ounce of part A, and then we're gonna take one ounce of part B, giving us a total of two ounces into our cup. And you're gonna mix this for about one minute. Now we're on to step number six, and you're gonna take some mold release spray and just give a couple squirts inside that thumb hole. And that's gonna allow that silicone to come out much easier once it's dried. Step number seven, we're gonna go back to our silicone and we're gonna make sure our ball is slightly angled so that silicone can slide into the thumb hole. You don't wanna keep it up like this and drop it straight in. You'll get some air bubbles in there. So you're gonna make sure it's tilted. You're gonna take your silicone and it's very thick. So you're just gonna to have to be patient. Once it starts to go, it's gonna come out and you're just gonna make sure that it slides all the way in that thumb hole until you come about halfway to three quarters up on the cylinder. You don't need to have it go all the way up to the top. And you want to make sure that you level this ball back up so that the bottom of your mold is completely level. Okay, step number eight, we're simply going to let the silicone dry for about 45 minutes before we're able to pull the dam off and pull the silicone out. Step number nine, which is the final step in the process, we're going to pull the dam out, we're going to pull the thumb out. So I'm just going to carefully pull this cylinder off of the thumb. And then you're slowly going to pull, wiggle back and forth this silicone until it comes out. As you can see, all nice one piece. And if you get any of this extra pieces of silicone on here, don't be afraid to take a pair of scissors and carefully just trim some of that off. All right, thanks Mike for showing us the instructions on creating your custom thumb. And there's a lot you can do with custom thumbs. So if you're a little picky like me, this is, this is definitely for you. And make sure that if you have any questions, call us at the tech support, 586-598-3948. And uh, any other questions, you can always email us.